putting some new bearings in under here on the 16 row planter so we had to pull the shaft back a little bit ago you guys missed it we didn't have the camera going but we could have watched Zach eat some grease off of a wrench he wants to stick his little flashlight in his mouth but it was a wrench Good grease over everything. Should be getting close to. I don't think there's one underneath there, and it seems like there should be. Coop. <laughs> it's time to get the planter out. What we should do is start going up and down the field with a planter. A lot of times the word spreads really fast that hey, so and so is planting already, and then we all get in a panic. Basically, what we're doing right now, we're trying to get the planters out across the driveway at my place. I'm actually backing up, so that's why I keep turning around. See what I can run into. But uh, we're just, it's a nice day. They're talking rain coming up. So we thought kind of unhook the, unfold the planters, check things over. Try not to walk around them because it seems like when you walk around them, you find stuff like, oh my God, I didn't see that was broke or that's wore out. But now is the time to repair it. I see some guys out putting fertilizer on today. I don't know if you can see it up on the main road there, but there'll be a John Deere spreader going by pretty soon see them up there you gotta remember how to run all this stuff it's funny when you haven't been in it for a year then you get in the tractor and you got to rethink Ooh, I was just looking Cooper's got the 24 row planter out there I was looking at the big lights in the back one thing with Cooper he likes things lit up really nice which is nice when you're out in the field late at night you got good visibility this planter is not as big I don't have quite the lights that he has on his planter hey Coop. We got Zach out there too. He's gonna check things out. Let's get me how to run all this stuff. I kind of fill you in what I'm doing right now. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm just sitting here trying to remember what, where, and how I ran it. And this planter here is really simple compared to a lot of guys' planters. Some of these newer ones, some of these great big giant planters, there is so much stuff on them. Monitors hanging everywhere. So here I am with one ag leader monitor which is really high tech tells me everything in there i probably should turn it on we got our controls here that fold it up we got our easy steer steady steer from ag leader here for the auto steer so <laughs> we got a lot of things set up here mainly what i'm trying to do is scratch my head to try to remember things just kind of looking at the planner taking time to absorb that's one nice thing about coming out doing this stuff before it's day one. We want to be planting like right now. And then you get out here and you're like, oh no, this ain't working or that ain't working or I forgot how to do this. I need to make some phone calls. Wait, my radio working. Yeah, good. I think we got her set up there. I like this Midland radio. Two-way radio really works nice for talking to the other guys. Oh yeah. I put continue. What the heck? Oh shoot, maybe I better not. Push a button here, don't even know what I'm doing. We do have a cremation uh, burial we need to dig today too. But right now I'm just trying to get some stuff checked out here in the field and then a little bit we'll go out and get that done too at the cemetery. Cause they're talking like 100% chance of rain tomorrow. The burial is actually the next day. So it's just nice to get the work done out in the cemetery while it's dry. So we're not tearing up the uh, cemetery grass and everything. Ooh, what we got here? I hope he's got that hooked up. There goes Cooper and Zach. Get that. Beans in the ground, guys. No, actually, they don't have anything in the planter right now. Neither do I. Sounds like a heart monitor. What we got here, guys? Well, no wonder there's nothing in the planter. So that would make it go crazy. Now it's like putting your heart on the heart monitor and having no heart. You know, I do know a few people in this world though. I swear I don't have a heart. Oh, not good. Not good. One little green spot there. Probably one bean fell out of the planter. It looks like everything's working though. Okay, we're gonna push a button here to auto steer. That little tractor should take over. Come on, little boy, come on. All right, looks like it's working. Running a, what? Oh, I might have turned it back on. I'm sorry. I forgot to turn auto steer back on. My fault. My fault. Human error. Human error. Human error. 
If it wasn't for human error, we wouldn't have any error. A lot of times everybody blames it on this and that. It's usually how we set it up, how we do things. I do a lot of human errors in a day. I admit it, I'm not perfect, but I'm perfect at making errors. You can call me a perfect error. I do like this steering though. I do have to admit though, I'm from the old school. We never had this fancy stuff when I grew up. To me, this is fancy. I know it may not be fancy to a lot of guys, but I always thought, oh, I can drive fine. I can do everything without auto steer, without the monitors. But I tell you what, once we put in the auto steer from Ag Leader, I didn't get as tired at the nighttime. My eyes weren't bugged out trying to watch things. I can look around. I can actually pick up my phone if I need to. Lower it back down. Like I said, we're just doing some play runs. I really can't adjust the row units or the trash whippers or nothing because some ground will be in this spring is going to be worked up ground. Some's going to be no-till ground. So my little trash whippers and stuff right now really can't do nothing with them. And I think this field here will be real disking it, kind of fluffing it up. Well, I think we'll get it to the end and probably oil up the chains on it. Call it ready for Pete to check out. Here comes Cooper. Well, we're gonna head up to the shop where it's warmer. Sun disappeared and it's kind of brisk out here, mainly when I'm not really dressed for it. Looks like Ellie's gonna help you. <laughs> He's wanting to play. <laughs> what we do on these cremations, I try to take a plug out the size of the hole. That way when we're done, we can put the grass back in, get everything back to the natural state as quick as we can. I'm going to do now I try to stack the dirt up so it looks neat not just scattered around it's kind of interesting sometimes we take the dirt away sometimes we leave it but I've had so many families say to me we want the dirt back into our grave that came out of our spot so we usually just kind of stack it and rake it up neatly and then we'll put a nice little sheet of plywood here I'll get the rake here in a minute. We'll rake her up. Try to make things look as neat as we can around here. This is a pretty wide open area where we're at right now. When we are doing these graves too, I kind of look at the forecast right away when we get a call. Normally we have a good three day notice. A lot of times, maybe four to five days, but better the notice nicer it is for us i guess but sometimes funeral homes can't help it and it's the way things work but like here when we get the call on a funeral i kind of look at the forecast okay two days from now they're talking rain so we better dig it tomorrow it just keeps our equipment from driving around on wet slimy grass if we can help it sometimes you can't it's already raining or whatever but then like yesterday we could have dug it but it was cold windy really windy so I thought today looks like a really good day. Get it dug. Tomorrow they're talking rainy, maybe snowy. Then it gets really slimy out here. And the day of the funeral, I think it's actually supposed to be a decent day, a little bit cool. The fall time, winter time like it is now, that's when things can get kind of tricky out here at the cemetery, mainly if we get a bunch of snow. So this isn't bad, it's a little chilly today, but I'd rather take a little chill than two feet of snow. I just love these new lights. I absolutely love them. We'll walk along. Do, 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 do. Oh, they're nice and bright. I love them. I love them. Anyhow, 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 anywho, anywho, anyhow. Oh, yeah. Talking rain tomorrow. 100% chance. Don't know how much. I don't know. Last I heard, kind of maybe a quarter inch to half inch. Maybe not a lot, but you know what? We're going to take it. And I show you something kind of cool here. Well, it's kind of cool to me. It's probably not cool to you guys. But under this, there's a really nice, really nice semi-seat in its air. Very nice seat. 
It's a lot better than what we got in little white here. Way better. So I guess we brought some stuff in. Cole, no. Oh, my mind. Cooper and Zach brought a bunch of stuff down. So we got things to work on tomorrow. They're talking 100% chance to yuck. When you look at this seat in here, that seat's getting in pretty sad shape. So I guess we're gonna take that seat out, put that little nice red seat in. Cooper brought down his hay conditioner. Needs new blades. They got it all cleaned up after the season last year. Got it put away, but it needs to be new blades on it. The gearbox is checked. I don't know if there's some gearboxes. They'll change oils and stuff. Get her all checked over. Get her ready for the season. Air pressure in the tires. Good time to do it. And then they brought down the, uh, oh, I can't think of what I want to call it. The seed tender. This thing is, we like it. Holds four bays on top these guys know how to build things oh. so we're gonna change oil and the little transfer motors tomorrow put fresh fuel in them kind of go through it make sure everything this is all cleaned up before we put it away just need to rechange oil put new gas in it all that good stuff same with this little bugger this one only holds two little bays but we need to go through that check the tires everything check the belts so I guess tomorrow is just going to be kind of service day. And then to back up the story, back up me. Come on, what are we talking here? The skid loader, the JCB. We did order some parts. There's a little, little bitty hydraulic line. It almost looks like an airline on a semi-trailer. Just a little bitty. It's kind of dripping. So I guess we got to replace the whole thing. We can't just replace the end. So that's not a big deal. We got that coming, so. Oh, I gotta put a pan underneath that because it's gonna drip oil tonight and I don't want oil all over the floor because we already got enough oil. So let me get a pan to put underneath there. Oh, put an oil pan underneath where the, I was. Oh, hold on for a second, I'm getting ahead of myself and I don't even know what I'm talking about. So how am I supposed to tell you what I'm talking about if I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I do know what I'm talking about, it's just it ain't coming out the way I want it to come. What I was gonna say, this thing's gonna drip oil till the tank runs empty. It'd be nice if they had a little shut off behind the tank so you could turn the hydraulic oil off so that wouldn't happen. I was gonna clean the belly of this thing, take it outside, raise the cab, clean everything up on real nice and then bring it back in here. But like Cooper mentioned, what if we need it in the meantime before the parts come in? We still can run it, it's just a little drip, drip, drip. So there's really no use cleaning it all up. And then it's probably still got a couple gallons or better in there. It's gonna run out in the belly pan anyhow. So we might as well wait until the parts come in. Maybe by then it will quit dripping. We'll put the new parts on, put oil in it, make sure it's not leaking and then take it out and clean it all up again. But I did put the bucket up and everything. So if the parts come in, we don't have to start it. We can just flip the cab, get underneath there. Smart thinking, eh, on my part. Well, anyhow, I think that's all I know right now. I'm getting hungry. It's getting kind of time to quit for the night. So why don't we call this the end of the video today? See you guys tomorrow, and I'm gonna be reading comments tonight because I see got a video that just came out tonight. I'm gonna be sitting there reading comments.